What is going on guys? Welcome to your 13th MySQL tutorial and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about something called wild cards. Now wild cards are basically special symbols that you could use to make your filtering more advanced. It's also what search engines use whenever they use MySQL to kind of, like I said, make your search more smart, more advanced because whenever you type a dog or something in Google it just doesn't give you the results of dog. It gives you dog house, dog bones, dog food. And like I said, this is, I don't know, I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna shut up and give you guys an example. But before I do, I wanna mention this. That customer table was, you know, it was pretty cool for a few examples, but it could get a little stale after a while. So what I did is I pretended that we would make a website like eBay or Amazon.com, and I made a whole list of pretty much a bunch of items now each of these items have an ID which is just one two three four five just a primary key so we can identify it a name such as brand new iMac computer or um, you know a bed a stove whatever I actually had someone else fill these in a cost which is the price of it a seller ID which is whoever is selling this item that's their ID number not very important for this tutorial and the number of bids on this item so this would be like a website like eBay and again if you guys want this table want to practice follow along with me then just go ahead and download that file again and this items table is going to be there whenever you import your file so anyways with that long intro let me go ahead and show you guys a quick wildcard example now let's go ahead and say we wanted to search for items that started with the keyword new like a new dog or a new computer so what we do is write select name because remember name is the name of the items like you know sh uh, carpet or brand new iMac computer select name from items items is a table remember where the name of the item is a like now whenever you use like you can go ahead and use something like this new percent sign now this percent sign is pretty much the heart of this tutorial this is the wild card and there's also another underscore wild card and I'll be talking that about that in a second but what percent sign means is basically it means anything so if something starts with new such as new computer that percent sign could be computer if it's new house new computer or I already said computer new sweater new pair of jeans this wild card can mean anything so let me go ahead and run this query and see what we get okay new gym socks new iPad stolen from Best Buy new curtain from bedroom it even can be a word or text after it so like I said that percent sign can either have spaces basically we're saying if anything starts with the word new then go ahead and return that in the result set pretty cool huh so you may be thinking okay if I go ahead and look at this items table I see brand new iMac computer how come that was in the result set well that is because whenever we ran our query we said okay this is like saying it needs to start with the word new and then anything after it it doesn't matter what's after it so what if we wanted to you know maybe search for the word computer but we didn't want to search like computer desk computer chair we wanted something like brand new computer chair or something so it doesn't matter what was before it or after it well what we would need to do is put two percent signs one before the word one after it so now when we search your computer then it doesn't matter what is before or after a computer as long as computer is somewhere in that name then check it out a brand new iMac computer this is at the end awesome alien computer game this is in the middle supercomputer at the end with no space in computer at the beginning or the end depending on how you look at it so basically remember whenever you use this percent as a wildcard filter it means that do you want anything to come before it or after it and if you do just go ahead and put it wherever you want now there's one other way that you can use that wildcard filter and that is having something weird like putting it in the middle of your term now whenever you put it in the middle of your term then you must match the first and last character but the middle can be anything you want so let me go ahead and select the city from I'm gonna use the old table customers and re remember that's the table that we've been using 
where the city name is like and instead of using it instead of using that wild card before or after I'm gonna use it in the middle so any city that starts with H and ends with D it can be anything it can be any name no matter what the length as long as it starts with H and ends with D then we're gonna go ahead and get those results so let me go ahead and hit go and check it out Hollywood Highland it doesn't matter the only thing that matters is it starts with H and ends with D what's in between those two doesn't really matter and I want to point out one other thing as you notice I put a lowercase h here but it searched uh, uppercase h and that's because like I said my SQL is not case sensitive the only reason that we like to use uppercase from lowercase is it just makes it easier to read whenever we're programming so we can quickly see what's my SQL and what are basically whatever we created so even though we're searching for H D this can be uppercase or lowercase like I said my SQL is not case sensitive so that's why we got the results Hollywood and Highland so there are other wild cards that I want to talk about and I also want to talk about something called regular expressions but I don't have time in this tutorial so I guess you guys are just gonna have to wait to the next video so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys then